I really wish we could scan for um, where the ore is first, though. Then that comes later. New orbital station in Sol orbit is like the least useful thing, and three pilots on board? Forget it. Forget it. I'm not even going to do that, even though it's probably trivial. New orbital station around Ike. Well, I mean, this that's a reasonable request. I wish they'd give us something for Jewel or something. Um, Let's just make a new probe. Do I seriously not have the Probodobodyne Hex yet? Let me get the Probodobodyne Hex. Sheesh. Well, that's not true. I mean sometimes, Mr. Doobie. No, they have some nice museums. There are some nice museums. But Baran had the unfortunate situation of coming... And in fact, they have like uh, one of the flight article Baran's on, uh, on sort of a... I, I don't want to say plinth. Uh, one, one of those um, displays, right? I mean, it's actually prominently displayed. But... You know, the Soviet Union collapsed, so... Um, okay, where is the resource scanner? In here, right? Hate how big this is. Brand sorta... Contributed to the collapse of the Soviet Union. In its own little way. Scan- I want to scan for ore before establishing a base, yeah. Gonna put it like that. That's enough to get into, go to the moon, get into orbit around the moon, break orbit. I think it might be able to get to Minmus. Let's let's give it some more fuel so it can get to Minmus. I want to scan for stuff around the moon and then scan for stuff around Minmus. Clamshell. Maybe three sides will work better, because the two sides seem a little bit sloppy. Um, no, this doesn't seem like... It's, it's pretty heavy, too, I mean... I don't want the walls, because I'm gonna... Can I get rid of the walls? I can't get the rid of the walls. That's not what I want. I guess the, all I can do is use one of these, but... That's not... Uh, th this has to be that structural thingy. Where's that structural thingy? 4,000, huh? But that's altitude vacuum. 4,303 and this one. I want to create a stage that goes all the way to orbit and comes back. But uh, this can't get off the ground on its own. It's got lots of delta V and everything. I don't know if that's going to be enough power. We've got six extra... Part extra, I say. We've got six parts to use. We don't have landing legs on this yet. And I don't know what kind of landing legs we've got. I think we'll just have it parachute down. I don't want to land it on its tail yet. Especially since we don't have the right landing, the big landing legs. Mm, so that's basically one ton, two ton, two and a half tons. And then two tons there, so that's four and a half tons, plus some extra for the core and all. Um, so three parachutes. Okay, have I forgotten anything? Maybe comms on this. That I need. You've got one more part. Hope it doesn't mind being too Im uh, a little bit imbalanced. That's uh, point seven. Maybe we could just. No, the, the mirror symmetry... Oh, well, that actually works. Um, let's see where the center of mass is. That's pretty good. If we move this over here... I mean, it's not a big difference. Still at 30 parts, yep. Just so I have something to limit me. Okay. Well, we don't actually want that to decouple at all. That's later. Is 
2,161 uh, might not be as much as I wanted, but we'll try. Well, it's a simple looking rocket. SLR. Simple looking rocket. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a go. Hopefully the engine uh, and the parachutes on one side aren't going to throw us off too much. If you think it's going to bounce on the engine, I mean, if you've got a lot of stuff hanging off the side and like a shuttle or something and, oh, no, and um, you've got a tiny little engine at the bottom, it's probably not going to stand on it, that's all, but mostly experience. I'm still always nervous about it, because I've had weird- oh no! Mm, I might need fins. I might need fins. But then I don't have that many parts to use. Well, we're, we're in trouble now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be able to come back down safely after that. What? What? No! No, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't! 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 Ah! It's doing it again! It's doing it again! Yeah, I'm not sold on this rocket, to be honest. Something very weird and... I think it's because I didn't auto-strut. I need to auto-strut more often. Alright. Yes, Mr. Doobie. I, I I aim to give people a certain comfort level with their competency. Yes, that's it. That's exactly why I did all that. But what I'm mostly interested in is maybe we can still recover that stage. If we can get back to it quickly enough. This can still do the moon portion. And that's orbit. Okay. Uh, you... Uh, yeah, you. Well, let's arm these and get them to a decent pressure. And I wanted the hex so that it could go retrograde automatically and hold that. You'll see how well it does. Didn't do so well going up, can't do better going down. I don't like that it's splashing down, that's not particularly convenient for, like, survivability. If I can, I'll roll so that the parachute's already up. I gotta check the temperature tolerance on the parachute cases. This is a suborbital thing, but on a full orbital return, they could be in trouble because they're sort of sticking out off the side there. Yeah, still a little bit engine heavy. So we should move the parachutes closer to the engine. And that's 14 meters per second. That We'll need another parachute or three. This is going to be harsh. Ooh, we got the engines! Not much else though. Wow, the, the sure, there's this real lag here. Recover vessel, I don't know. Um, hold on, I can recover something apparently. But if we have to put more parachutes... That's more part count. Maybe just bringing the engine cluster back is better. Okay, let's turn back to the mission. It is a bit imbalanced. We need to get into a polar orbit of certain height. Ah, crash course is fine for now. We're gonna change that once we get into Mooner SOI. We are already sort of inclined. 
Let's give that a go for a start. Or we could get a reading if we um, deploy scanner and tell it to start scanning. 25 and 1000. Well, this will be good enough. Nope, I have to actually do this correct. 300 is a lot. I feel like I've made a horrible mistake, actually. It can't be 300, right? Expecting a smaller maneuver. Let's execute this node and get this into orbit quickly. But to be honest, I'm not feeling very Kerbalish right now. So, scan please. Anyway, let's increase the cutoff. Oh, 70 is ready. Well, there's a patch there. Let's see the map. That seems pretty bright. Not the most convenient place. Um, so it's like... It'll only show what's above a 70% concentration, if you will. So, um, first of all, these this shows like where even the tiny bit of ore is. But then you increase the cutoff and then now it'll show, you know, where it has a 10% concentration of ore, basically. And then this a different color, just in case you wanted a different color. Um, so, up, up, up. And then this only shows 80% concentration of ore, so this patch is very nice. That other faded patch that we saw earlier only appears at 70%, see? And then the more will show up at 60%. So, I mean, if we uh, were okay with 60%, we could probably go with this crater right here. So maybe uh, for convenience sake, because Landing something at the high levels is inconvenient. You know, even though this is obviously the better concentration here, I don't really want to start off with a base there. This may be sufficient for our purposes and just land something in this particular crater. Okay, well, with this thing having done its job, let's put together that base. What we need is antenna docking port and can generate power and five kerbals need to fit in. So hit check your storage container. We need room for one more. I guess the Mark 1 lander can. It's pretty light. You know what? No, let's reverse the order of that. I'm tempted to offset it so that the, all the, lander, the ladders match. E, I mean, that's a little bit unconventional, but it sort of makes sense. Hmm. Um, but then we, we're gonna have to worry about the uh, CON, so let's put something over here. It's a little bit awkward, but interesting. There's no point putting the science on the surface like that, but do we have any... This is medium scanning arm. What is that? And then there's this light scanning arm. Not that heavy. I've never used these. This is probably the wrong place to put it. Scan surface feature. I mean, shouldn't it be like tilted towards the surface? Hello, Arthur. Do you have any idea about this thing? This is the stock 1.8 playthrough, yeah. Uh, this is a DLC part, I think, and I haven't used it before. Well, we need stuff on this side to counterbalance the fact that I've got that on one side, so. 
Oh, I just wanted these ladders to be lined up. <laughs> you can get signs from the surface scatter like rocks and such. I, I mean, obviously it makes more sense with a rover than with a base. A container module, a cargo storage unit. Well, you know, this has got all sorts of stuff. Maybe we should... Maybe we need a big one. I don't know. Let's see. I haven't played around with these at all. Well, let's open up, get all these. Commutron ground thingy. I mean, if we're gonna have a surface base, these are all surface base thingies. Oh, okay. Drag and drop does work. Just put it over it. And then, voila! Okay, so needs a deployed power unit. So, deployed central state. We need at least a central station. That's not a central station, that's... I think this is the central station. So we've got a central station. I don't think we need a weather analyzer. One of each. Uh, so this, this has that communication and everything. And this has the goo bed. Um, passive seismometer. Weather analyzer. Sure, why not? There's got to be some moon weather. Okay. Looks almost centered to me. Okay. So now we have to be able to land on the moon. <laughs> uh, well, no, we need a docking port too, according to the requirements. So let's get a docking port. I don't know why it would need a docking port, but, you know. Okay, um... We'll just land on the bottom of this. We've, we've been doing that. That's fine, right? Now, like, we might have enough parts to put landing legs in the in the final frame. We'll see. Your toaster is better than your PC? Hmm. I think you've got your priorities mixed up. <laughs> I try for the cheapest, simplest toaster and slightly not-so-cheap PC. Honestly, the cheaper toaster would probably last longer anyway. I really don't want my toaster talking to me, okay? Their post, uh, toaster is cheaper than cheaper PC? Yeah, yeah, but it all adds up once you get a better this and a better that, you know. It all adds up. These days, you know, price isn't a matter of quality as much as it is fancy electronic gizmos and complexity. It used to be that price was more associated with quality, but like the iPhones are designed to be replaced every two years or whatever, you know. So that whole, that whole equation has been messed up. We might need to go for the main sale. First use of the mainsail. I'm overdoing it. <laughs> I'm overdoing it. I'm gonna put fins. After last time, I'm a little bit concerned about flipping. I think we've got everything. Antenna, docking port, can generate power. Five kerbals. Oh, there's, it needs a viewing. Gosh darn it, I missed the fine print. It needs a viewing cupola. Well, that changes things. Death Wish Coffee. Yeah, I've heard of such things. I just stick to my Seattle's best for the most part. And Pete's. Pete's is local, so it's roasted in good time. You know. It's usually within roasted within the past month. Well, now we have a lot of parts, but we've got a very Kerbal rocket. We're going to use the parts for a launch clamp for our mainsail. Maybe. Maybe should be good. All right, moon base. Nobody should be on board. Oh, yeah, we need a remote controller. Gosh darn it. Only use three fins. I only use four fins. If I can't afford to use four fins, I don't fin at all. <laughs> um, this does have a reaction wheel, so that's no problem. 300% more caffeine? Yeah, I don't have any death wish. 
I'm good. Moderation is best. Let's go. <laughs> just, just in case he's talking too much about the toilet paper. This is an unhealthy fascination with toilet paper strainers, Bobby Factor. Jack, that doesn't sound right. I I put Kahlua in my coffee. I put Irish cream in my coffee. I don't want Jack Daniels to do anything to my coffee. Thank you. Planning, Bobby Factor. We're in the rocketry game here. We're good at planning. We don't we don't get caught off guard not having the right filter, right? NASA, you don't you don't have the wrong filter, right? For anything. Oh, not clamshell. You got it. <laughs> okay, it looks like we really need those solar panels quick. Cap yeah, yeah, well, you'll have the survival stuff down. Yeah, maybe. Improvise, MacGyver style. Okay, more or less circular orbit. The moon, oh, uh, the moon actually has the ore thing visible still. So it's looking like some evil moon of doom. It's got the ore overlay visible from over here too. We gotta probably turn that off soon. McDonald's coffee? Oh, I haven't actually tried McDonald's coffee. Maybe we don't want to know what their coffee is. <laughs> I don't know. They can be some weird coffees. Of course, there's that gourmet one that's uh, passed through some some creature and it's actually their poo. What, what was that again? Luwak. Artificial coffee. You know, that the chicory plus artificial coffee flavor is not not bad. Missed a lot? I don't know. We landed on Ike with Eval. Val landed on Ike. There was that. Audacious actions from Bobby Factor. What's the mission? We're landing a base on the moon. Uh, preferably somewhere that has good ore concentrations. I think this crater is probably for the best. Well, we, we do have to have communication when we get there. Um, maybe alright, we'll see. Maybe we're gonna crash this. This might be bad. Ah, comps. Yay. Oh, I'm passing it. I'm passing it. Slow down. We still have calm, right? Uh oh. What? I press space bar. What happened? Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, I think there's a lot of uh, competition for the for the, the Starbucks slots. Yeah, ambient light. Yes. So you know. They get all the college students here. I, I, you know what? Actually, I don't want to do that for other reasons. I can see fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're landing in this crater right here. That will be our home. Doesn't much matter if we just waste fuel here. I, I don't know what to do with this fuel otherwise. We do have a docking port on top, but it'd be really hard to use it. Oh, I should have put little ladder rungs on this side at least. Gosh darn it. Don't see any slopes. They might be slopes, I just don't see them. Probably for the best.
We'll find out in the morning what it looks like around here. We could hop it over to somewhere slightly different as long as it survives. Well, it's a base, it's not a lander, per se. Five person base they wanted, with a docking port, antenna, and power. What they wanted. Oh, that's not... That's not what I want either. Oh no! 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 Stop! Stop! No! Please! Come back! <laughs> Gosh, let me not push buttons like that next time. Oh! Uh... I want to play something else! Gosh darn it. I was looking for this display. Is, shouldn't this 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 is th this button is supposed to show this right? I don't understand. I'm, I'm I was on this. I clicked this. Well, how do I go back? To, okay, how how do I go back to the other one thing? Oh my pants. How do I go back to my pitchy on roll? Oh, like that. But I hate Hoggles. But this. Hmm. We still got communication. <laughs> ah. Can I. Can I just go kill something now? <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna switch to game number two. I'm clearly not in a sufficiently Kerbal frame of mind. So, the options I gave you. Y yes, yeah, comfortable with their skill level and KSP. Okay, anyway, the best best of breed. Thank you very thank you. I'm going to go weep in the corner for a little bit. I'll be right back. <laughs> 